Hey guys, it's Jess, and today I'm gonna to talk about split ends. We're gonna talk about what is a split end, what causes them, how to prevent split ends, and then how to fix them. So, a split end, what is it? It is also called tri trichoptilosis. Trichoptilosis, 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 trichoptilosis. So that is a big word, but basically it just means damage and breakage. So what causes a split end? Um, split ends are caused by natural causes, which means just things in our environment, like the weather, um, even our hair rubbing on our clothes, on our shoulder, our pillowcases, sleeping at night, um, hair products, Mostly hair products like mousse, shampoo, gels, things with a lot of alcohol in them, um, and stress. Really, stress on your hair. Did you know that your hair can get stressed out? It can, and it is. Our hair is stressed out. It's stressed out by all those things I mentioned, and also by coloring your hair, and um, really anything that you do is gonna damage your hair. Kinda sucks, right? So what do we do to prevent it? So let's talk about vitamins. So what you can do to prevent it is having your hair growing out healthy and strong and just starting off on a good basis. Um, B vitamins are best for that and biotin would be best for that as well to help your hair grow healthy and strong. Um, also, to prevent it, if you deep condition your hair once a week to keep your hair pliable and soft, and also it will also keep it strong and put kind of a coating on it that will protect your cuticle from these environmental um, dangers, if you will. And also, gentle hair care. What do I mean by gentle hair care? Um, I mean things like when you're you when you are doing some thermal styling, use a thermal heat protectant. Okay, um, that means you can use an oil on your hair that has a protectant, in it, a spray um, when you're hot ironing or curling, things like that. Also, be extremely careful when your hair is wet. Your hair is at its weakest and most vulnerable point when it is wet. So using things like wet brushes or wide tooth combs to gently um, comb through your hair or brush through your hair when it is wet is going to prevent more breakage. So you have some split ends. What do you do? How do you fix split ends? Now there are all kinds of serums and um, special things to put on the ends of your hair when you have split ends. Your question is, do they work? My answer is, it depends what you're looking for. Does it fix your split end? No. Does it sort of repair it and make it appear to not be a split end? Yes, in a way. What those things do that say they fix split ends is it is taking the hair shaft and it is kind of almost sticking it together. So it's all frayed and crazy and it's kind of just taking it and sticking it together so it looks like it is smooth again. Is that a long-term fix? No, and I think that you know that. So the only way to fix a split end once you have it is a trim. You need to be getting your hair trimmed every six to eight weeks. If you stay on a regimen of um, getting your hair trimmed every six to eight weeks, your hair will appear healthier, stronger, and it will appear to grow faster. Does it grow faster? No. But on the flip side of that, it can appear that it's growing faster because instead of, instead of having your split end break up the shaft, up the hair shaft, um, it will cut off that split end and it won't keep breaking. So instead of having an unpredictable haircut, you're gonna get a trim that you can control and your hair will be healthier and start to look longer because you're not having breakage. Another thing that I want to mention that I did not mention is in the preventing category, when your hair is wet and you have your hair in a towel and you're kind of towel drying your hair, do not, do not rub 
your hair in a towel. What do I mean by that? I mean when you have your hair in a towel and you scrub it like this and cause a lot of friction because that will break your hair. Especially if your hair is fragile and already a little bit weak, it'll cause all kinds of damage. So instead of doing the bat, you wanna take it and kind of just squeeze it like this and get the water out that way. But that was back on how to prevent and I told you how to fix it. You need to keep up with your trims and haircuts and if you start getting on a regimen of doing things like that, you will see less and less split ends and you won't have as much of a problem. So if you have any questions that I didn't cover about split ends, post them below and I'll get back with you. And if you liked this video and want to see more like it, then don't forget to subscribe because I love to have you in my audience. I'll see you later guys, bye.